The Galaxy S26 Ultra has just surfaced in stunning new renders, offering our first real look at Samsung's upcoming flagship. Shared by popular YouTuber video Wally Sarkar, the S26 Ultra is shown in three striking color options, a soft mid-green, a sleek matte black, and an elegant peach gold. Before we dive in, a quick heads up. If you're planning to buy the Galaxy Z Fold 7, make sure to use the exclusive links below, made just for Kid Android HA viewers to grab some awesome perks. You'll get a free $50 Samsung credit just by clicking the link, plus up to $150 storage upgrade credit. That means you can either double your storage for free or get a big discount on the 1TB model. On top of that, there's up to $1,000 in trade-in credit for your old Samsung phone and 30% off Galaxy watches and buds. These are limited time offers, so don't miss out. The design takes a minimalist approach, subtly refining Samsung's iconic camera layout. The rear cameras now sit completely flush with the back, eliminating the camera bump for a super clean, streamlined look. It still features a quad camera setup, but with major upgrades, headlined by a powerful 200 megapixel main sensor with variable aperture for enhanced low light and daylight photography. The telephoto and ultra wide cameras also get significant improvements, including a 50 megapixel periscope zoom lens. Under the hood, it's expected to pack the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, also known globally as Snapdragon Elite 2. Coupled with 16 gigs of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, it promises lightning fast performance and improved cooling thanks to a larger vapor chamber. Perhaps most exciting is Samsung's rumored new silicon carbon battery technology, which could increase battery capacity to over 5,500 ma without making the phone any thicker. The S Pen remains as Samsung reportedly considered removing the digitizer for more space, but ultimately decided to stick with the beloved stylus for its precision writing and sketching capabilities on the massive, nearly bezel-less 6.9-inch emerald display. While the under-display camera didn't make it this time, Samsung appears to have focused on refining what already worked, delivering a device that feels like a perfected evolution rather than a complete overhaul. Reports suggest that Samsung is actively testing advanced UDC, under-display camera, technology for the S26 Ultra, aiming to enhance image quality and eliminate the need for visible camera cutouts. However, not all sources agree. Some insiders argue that current UDC technology may not yet match the performance of traditional front-facing cameras. They suggest that Samsung might postpone this feature to assure optimal user satisfaction. Beyond the front-facing camera, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to receive significant upgrades to its rear camera system. Speculations include the introduction of a 200-megapixel periscope telephoto lens, enhancing zoom capabilities and overall image quality. While the Galaxy S26 Ultra promises exciting advancements, it's essential to approach these rumors with cautious optimism. As development progresses, more concrete information will emerge. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung's got a lot going on right now, with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 launching this week. But if you're curious about what's next, especially the Galaxy S26 series coming early next year, We've got some fresh leaks that might just get you excited. So here's the latest scoop from Leaker Ice Universe on Weibo. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to pack a massive 200MP primary camera, paired with a 50MP 5X telephoto lens. That's already pretty impressive, but the real upgrade? The 3X telephoto camera is finally getting a bump from 10MP to 12MP. Why does that matter? Well, Samsung has been using that same 10MP sensor for five generations now, so this upgrade could mean much better portrait shots and zoom quality, something fans have been waiting for. Now on to the battery. The S26 Ultra is expected to stick with a 5000 mAh capacity, which is solid, but the exciting part might be faster charging speeds. We don't know exactly how fast it'll get yet, but faster charging on the Ultra flagship would definitely be a welcome improvement. And here's a cool tidbit. Samsung might actually make the S26 ultra thinner. According to the leak, the thickness will drop from 8.2 mm on the Galaxy S25 Ultra down to around 7 xmm. That's a noticeable slimming down for a flagship with such beefy specs. Looking back at earlier rumors, Samsung seems to be focusing on some battery tech upgrades internally, which might be how they're freeing up space to slim down the phone rather than adding a bigger battery. Most users should be happy with the Ultra's current battery capacity, 
but for the base S26 models, a bigger battery might be more appreciated than just a thinner profile. Oh, and just a heads up, there's no word yet on a silicon carbon battery upgrade, so don't get your hopes up for that just yet. So what do you think? Are you pumped for that 200 MP camera and a slimmer design? Would you prefer a thinner phone or longer battery life? Let me know down in the comments. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120, and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first-ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.